Let's go back to the phone lines. Uh, we'll talk to Cameron next, listening in Oklahoma. Hi, Cameron. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, so I just had a question of uh, what is evil, and is that, I mean, is that like just the absence of God's character, or I, I was hoping you could kind of give me some clarification on that. Yeah, I actually answer that question in the complete Bible answer book, Collector's Edition, in an entry that has to do what is sin. And in that entry, what I actually do is I point out that sin is not an ontological entity in itself, but it's the deprivation of something. And therefore, we can't call sin a substance. So there's an entry in the complete Bible answer book, What is Sin? Now, I point out that sin is a barrier between us and other people, but sin is also, as just mentioned, the deprivation of good, and therefore sin is characterized by a lack of something rather than being something in itself. Sin is a break in relationship with God and with others rather than being an entity in and of itself. Okay. So I guess under that, I mean, I really really kind of changes a lot of things. I've always had people try to argue and say things like they felt like God created evil just because of, you know, the fact that the tree was there. But And I I mean, I know otherwise, but I was never really sure how to put that in words. But I mean, with that kind of an understanding of elementary understanding of that, it just seems like, I don't know, it's kind of a duh thing that I can't really be God creating evil if it's really, I guess, just the absence of us uh, choosing to use something that God gave. Well, yes and no, but let me just elaborate on the difference between creating the potential for evil and creating evil itself. So creating the potential for evil means that God gave people volition, and without volition, love becomes meaningless. Uh, I mean, if you can only love someone under duress, if you're forced to love, then love is not really love. So God creates the potential for evil by creating volitional beings. Those volitional beings actualize that evil by the choices that they make. God set before Adam and Eve a choice. They could choose to do it his way, or they could choose to live by the dictates of their own will. So they could choose to act one way or choose to act a completely different way. So they had a choice, and through that, they actualized evil. But again, evil is not just murder, rape, or robbery. It's not just things that you do. Sin is a word that describes anything that fails to meet the standard of God's perfection, and therefore sin is the barrier between us and a satisfying relationship with God. Again, I've dealt with that specifically and directly in the Complete Bible Answer Book, available. Find it at equip.org. Thank you for standing shoulder to shoulder with me in the battle for life and truth.